All right, we're back on the diesel bike project. Now, last time you saw this, you saw a failure. So I looked and the root cause of the failure was that the alternator mount came loose and got into the gears causing the hub up here to shift. So we're gonna be repairing all that and beefing it up to make sure that doesn't happen again. Now, what had actually caused the issue last time is this little slip mount right here that I have so I can adjust my alternator and keep tension on the chain came loose so this alternator came up into the gears and ended up shifting everything around. Now what I have done to fix that, I've added an adjusting screw to keep tension just in case this bolt does come loose. It won't be able to force that bolt up. You can see just how that works there, I think. Also, I am beefing up how this hub mounts. I have added a brace here to connect these two together, trying to keep this hub from twisting. Added a brace here as well, and I'm going to add one more brace from the hub to the engine. I also finally got my wiring done for the alternator. So there's the regulator here. I got it mounted up top here. You can see my wiring is pretty atrocious at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go through and tidy that up when we're a little closer to being done. All right, let's build our brace. So I finally wired me up a fan here for the side mount radiator. Got it on a switch right here. Moves quite a bit of air, so I think it'll be good in case I don't have a lot of uh, movement or airflow. There's the side mount. So with my current turbo setup, the exhaust is just blowing straight out the front. And as you can see from this uh, black air filter, as I'm driving, it just blasts the smoke out this way and then sucks it into the filter here. So I should probably build me some exhaust soon. Now I don't know if I'm gonna just do a turnout out the side or down or do a full exhaust. I think it would look pretty cool with the full exhaust coming out the back. Maybe have a big diesel tip or something like that. All right, time for a test drive, let's go. That did pretty awesome. I was having so much fun that I forgot to pay attention to how much fuel I had. I was just about to run out. I barely made it home. Anyways, the fastest I got it up to is 55 and that seems like that's about where I have my RPM limit set in the top gear. So it's kind of gear bound, but it has plenty of power at that range. Now I think I'm going to keep with this gear setup for now in this gear ratio and uh, I might bump the RPM limit up on the engine uh, right now it's set to stock 
So I could probably get a little bit more safely, but we'll see. I'm gonna do some more testing. And uh, so far these gears and everything are holding up. So I'm kind of surprised. I need to tighten up my chain there. This was a new chain, so it's kind of stretching. But overall, pretty fun to ride. But I think before I do much more testing, I'm gonna have to actually build the proper fuel tank for it. So I'll have some range, not be left stranded. So anyways, you guys keep tinkering. And we'll see you next time. Look how black that air filter is. I'm gonna need to do some exhaust for this thing soon. That's pretty bad.